This Mass is offered on the 29th death anniversary of B.O. Anthony, offered by daughter Mary and family. For the intentions of the successful surgery and the speedy recovery for Tangamma. For the intentions of the Legion of Mary English. For the soul of Sicily, offered by Jasmine and family. For the soul of Jairaj, by Antony Vijay family. And thanksgiving by Diksha and family. <coughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by Paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our Heavenly Maker through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. When they had prayed, they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, when Peter and John were released, they went to their friends and reported what the chief priests and the elders had said to them. And when they heard it, they lifted their voices together to God and said, Sovereign Lord, who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and everything in them, who through the mouth of our father David, your servant, said by the Holy Spirit, Why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. For truly in this city there were gathered together against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed. Both Herod and Pontius Pilate, along with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do whatever your hand and your plan had predestined to take place. And now, Lord, look upon their threats and grant to your servants to continue to speak your word with all boldness, while you stretch out your hand to heal, and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Responsorial Psalm. Our response shall be Blessed are all who trust in you, O Lord. Blessed are all who trust in you, O Lord. Why do the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? They arise, the kings of the earth. Princes plot against the Lord and his anointed. Let us burst asunder their fetters. Let us cast off from us their chains. Our response. 
Blessed are all who trust in you, O Lord. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord derides and mocks them. Then he will speak in his anger. His rage will strike them with terror. It is I who have appointed my king on Zion, my holy mountain. Our response? Blessed are all who trust in you, O Lord. I will announce the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. <coughs> Ask of me and I will give you the nations as your inheritance and the ends of the earth as your possession. With a rod of iron you will rule them. Like a potter's jar you will shatter them. Our response? Blessed, Blessed are all who trust in you, O Lord. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah. 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 If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you O Lord. Lord. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born anew, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, <clears throat> Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born anew. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear its sound. But you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I know a certain man when he was doing his industrial, industrial training institute, ITI training, he joined some of his uh, Protestant friends. I am talking about a Catholic boy, young man. He joined some of his uh, Pentecostal friends. And he began to read Bible morning and evening, apart from his studies. He became so thirstful, he began to quote Bible now and then to his friends. As a student, he passed out, and again he was going to different uh, churches, denominational churches, leaving the Catholic services and Catholic Mass. <clears throat> he became so interested in the scripture, he began to read gospel according to John, gospel according to Luke and so on. And he used to read from the uh, Old Testament and so on. And therefore he became, he was very thirstful, very enthusiastic in scripture. In the morning and evening, wherever he used to go, carry the Bible with him in his bag or in his bike, and he used to be like a pastor. 
as he grew up and joined some company for work he got married and after his marriage reading of the scripture became so thin and he couldn't find time for uh, the bible reading he became so engrossed in the family affair money making and he began to carry on his uh, studies and he did his emed uh, llb and phd and so on and thus he became so money minded family oriented and uh, worldly oriented he became so worldly the fact that he had the bible in his arm in his hand in his bag was uh, totally thrown out and he began to be a worldly man later on he analyzed his whole self then he began to come along with his wife to the church for the mass once a while like that my brothers and sisters this is what happens among uh, quite many of our brethren when the priests tell the people to read the bible read the scripture be convinced about jesus as the way the truth and the life they think that by going into the scripture you have to become a protestant you have to become a pentecostal many claim that holding a bible and walking about or coming into the church with the bible with the scripture reading it listening to the priest or the pastor they think it is only the affair of the non catholic denominational christians it is totally absurd it is totally wrong everyone who loves christ loves his word everyone who loves and follows jesus christ has the bible in his bosom so it is not the protestants who have the privilege or who have the priority who have the first right to hold the bible it is every believer every follower of christ jesus this is one lacuna or one problem that one uh, uh, how do i say shortcoming among the catholic brethren we don't want to touch the scripture we want to touch everything in the church we don't want to open the scripture we will go about every statue every idol in the church when people come for mass or when you go for mass but the scripture many of our catholic brethren unfortunately are very poor very ignorant they do not want to touch the scripture reading is so hard for them but they may read thousands of messages that would come up in their whatsapp just going about whiling away the time another funny thing among our catholic brethren they would receive quite a lot of whatsapp you know someone has formed it someone has coined it someone has made it as a template and sent it and those people who send such a thing they would have uh, done it through youtube and they make money out of it so there is a business behind these sort of uh, spread of messages through youtube or through whatsapp and our brethren are so particular they will be going through so many and they'll be forwarding 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 but you ask them the one word ask them one word from the scripture they will blink and their mind will be blank this is the shortcoming that we could find in today's uh, uh, situation my brothers and sisters i am telling you this one because <clears throat> in uh, today's uh, first reading i wanted to tell you you know uh, acts of the apostles okay chapter 4 verse 31 the last word acts of the apostle chapter 4 verse 31 what does it say and when they had prayed the place in which they were gathered together was a shaken and they were they were all filled with the holy spirit and they continued to speak the word of god with boldness this is the word that i want to use it taking from the scripture acts of the apostle chapter 4 verse 31 that they continue to speak the word of god with the boldness with the boldness 
what is that boldness boldness is not that uh, you know people taking a sword or a dagger or showing a whip or showing the taking out the belt or using vulgar words shouting to the top of the sky showing once uh, uh, valent and things like that no speaking boldly means being convinced strongly conviction conviction when i am convinced about my mother i love her even if she scolds me i would go to my mother and listen to her uh, instruction sitting at her feet she must have or she would have uh, chided me or chastised me or scolded me or uh, sometime taken me into task but still she is my mother or if i am someone if i am in love with a girl yes i like that girl so much even if she does wrong i would forgive her and i would listen to her listen to her talk listen to her joke listen to her problem listen to her life and i would make her life grow and i would talk about my wife or about my mother to other relatives that they are taking care of me so well this is one example i'm that just i'm giving you in the context of your own family life if so <clears throat> how much are we convinced about jesus christ how much are we convinced about jesus christ what percentage would you give how much do you know the scripture how much have you read the whole of the bible in all your lifetime right your mobile phone is at your uh, uh, head on your pillow or under your pillow or on your table or close to your uh, bed or even at night you carry it wherever you go even during the mass many catholic brethren take the whatsapp i mean a message a phone call and the moment they receive it they get out of the church during the mass so so much we are attached right so much we are attached to this sort of uh, gadgets but gadgets came just some decades of years ago but before that it was the book it was the printed book from the 16th century till now we have the uh, written book printed book people were holding on to the printed book not the uh, the digitalized one digitalized is a style of life in today's context but the scripture was well printed written and given to us but we don't carry that bible you know why we are not bold enough you know why we are not convinced at home we have plenty of time to gossip to quarrel to fight to chat to joke to comment eh and to pick up even quarrels so much of time to spend on filthy unnecessary wasteful matter but the scripture is the one that gives us life my dear brothers and sisters the gospel is such that jesus is talking to nicodemus nicodemus was one of the um, men from the sanhedrin sanhedrin was a council of jewish elders this man had some sort of understanding about jesus who had a great thirst to meet the lord but he didn't have a, a courage to meet the lord during the day uh, in the daylight he was scared lest his uh, his uh, uh, co-workers or other people might see him right so nicodemus took an opportunity to come and see jesus almost in the dark so that no one could uh, uh, make him out so this is another theological meaning that the man comes to see jesus during the dark would mean he walks from darkness to the light it is a passage of his journey in life from the ignorance to the truth from avidya to vidya from darkness to light from death to life from the human world 
to the heavenly world. This is the understanding that Nicodemus made a point to come to see Jesus. And Jesus goes on explaining about the truth, about the fact, about the scripture. And Jesus says, unless you are born again, he tells Nicodemus, unless you are born again, born again, Nicodemus was startled. Master, does it mean that I should go back to my mother's womb and be born again? No. Unless you are born in your spirit. In other words, Jesus says a very philosophic, philosophical and theological word. That which is born of the flesh is a fleshy or a flesh. That which is born of the flesh. Our talk, our look, our attire, our judgment, our gossip, our uh, conversation, our dealings, if they emerge from the flesh, they are of the world. <clears throat> right? If they emerge from the spirit, from the heart, from the soul, then such events, such judgments, such work, such deeds are of the spirit. Jesus would mean the Holy Spirit. So if you are filled with the Spirit, then obviously your word is of the Spirit. If you are filled with the Holy Spirit, or if you are uh, uh, drawn by the Holy Spirit, or if you are impelled by the Holy Spirit, or if you are guided by the Holy Spirit, then your life is spiritual. Your life is spiritual. So we need to grow in spirit. And the last one, Jesus says, Do not marvel that I say to you, you must be born anew. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear its sound. But you do not know where it comes from and where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit, Holy Spirit. You do not know from where, from which angle, in which part of your life the Holy Spirit comes into you. When you are desiring to have the Holy Spirit, yes, obviously the Holy Spirit comes into you. Your life, your family becomes spiritual. Think of your husband. Is your husband a spiritual man or a boozing man? Is your husband who speaks vulgar words at home? Is your husband faithful to you? Is your husband righteous man, holy man, moral man? Or is your man, husband, is just worldly, going with all the bad company, bad and evil friends, joining with the, uh, the, the wicked uh, group and so on? Is your husband so? Then what is your responsibility as a wife? Are you just watching, oh, okay, my husband is a good man, let him go wherever you want. So you have a responsibility, my dear woman, as wife, as mother. The other way as well. How is your wife? Is she a holy woman? A holy woman? Or a holy woman only within the frame of uh, four walls of the church and after going back she just the other way devilish diabolic using bad words condemning others accusing others huh? cheating in money and in finance exploiting the poor and innocent ones is she of that type so what is your responsibility as a husband are you watching because she feeds you, she cooks nicely, and she keeps up the family fine. No, you have got something different uh, responsibility. So Jesus says, so it is with everyone who is born of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, be convinced of the Lord Jesus Christ. And let your life be exemplary. Let your Catholic life be a model. To be born again, you don't have to become a Protestant. 
to be born again you don't have to join that uh, yehova witness or born again group no born again in every minute of your life born again doesn't mean just a certificate on your forehead that follow is a born again christian no every catholic is a born again every believer is a born again because you are convinced of our master jesus thomas was convinced mary magdalene was convinced luke was convinced paul was convinced peter was convinced early apostles were convinced early martyrs were convinced are you convinced or are you shaky would you like to be filled with the holy spirit let's pray now <clears throat> master this day is a so nice day for everyone this day is so beautiful one for everyone who listen and watch in this media all the family members or those who are hearing your word bless them today abundantly that they would become bold and brave witnesses to your scripture let them read the scripture lord let them read the scripture send your holy spirit upon them quite many of our brethren are wasting time wasting time unnecessary talk lord unnecessary gossip unnecessary conversation but ignorant of your scripture let them be born again may your holy spirit descend upon them make them strong living witness to your word amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen we all fail oh lord divine our humble gifts of bread and wine we place them on your altar lord today brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church receive o lord we pray these offerings of your exultant church and as you have given her cause for such great gladness grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously. But when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, through Him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. Therefore joining with the angels we praise you as we acclaim holy holy holy, holy, holy lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that the hell is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Dear our Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Peter Machado, the Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, B.O. Anthony, Sicily, and Jai Raj, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in their resurrection. In our also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who are tired in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we are ready to be cursed eternal life, and I praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God as our Father, so we have the courage to say, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, and the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let's spirit. offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Be Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. John 20, 90. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in the flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go the masses enter. Thanks be to God. Good news, good news. Go proclaim to all the good news, good news. Go and tell the world with Jesus we Shall rain no more. We have broken bread in his memory. We have drunk his wine. We have shared the meat of sincerity. Now we walk in love. Good news, good news. Go proclaim to all the